It was the best day in the universe. Except for the days that were better. We're in the universe. Except for the days that were better. Hello, my lovely friend. I was just thinking about life and how I've shown a lot of funny and silly and random because a lot of the other stuff I'm just not proud of. <laughs> it's really interesting how different sub different limitations can make a person seem better than they are. So like when I was living as a guest in people's homes, you know, you don't have that close relationship to get angry with each other, to have conflict. And so you are constantly in your polite mode and you know what I mean if you're if you're when you're a guest with someone you're not going to be openly generally you're not going to openly be disagreeing with them but when you're around people that you know really well family and friends of a long time there's less of a filter and it's really weird to be aware of how little of a filter I have around my sibling and my mom to just blah, and just say things and so I, and I find myself like getting offended about stupid stuff too like what what is wrong what is going on in my head why am I so touchy like for example my sib I was getting something out of the shed outside and my sib was like hey don't make a mess mom and dad worked really hard on there and I was like are you serious? What? Of course I'm not going to leave a mess. I always leave things better. Me, 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 me. And I just like was talking for 10 minutes being so offended about being accused of making a mess. I was just like, who am I? Why am I such a baby? Why am I so easily offended? Why couldn't I have just said, I won't? Is it because I'm older and just how dare someone think that I could even would even leave a mess when I'm such a hard worker and clearly helpful and all this blah 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 stuff I don't know I hope this makes some sense do you guys have a filter problem with people that you love the people that you're close to another thing that I realized is a really good filter manager for saying stupid stuff is speaking a foreign language when you're speaking a foreign language, you have to be careful and pick your words, what you say, because you don't know how to say all the words, you don't know how to string your sentences together well. But, but when you're speaking in your own language, it just comes out. <sighs> Sometimes I just feel like I'm such a baby. I, I'm so far from where I want to be. So I actually made some time to read the Bible today. I, have, I was, haven't done that for a few days. And I was just kind of flipping around looking for something to kind of jump out at me. And it was to the part when Jesus was in the Garden of Gethsemane. And he, he asked his disciples to stay with him and stay awake and pray with him. And they just kept falling asleep. And... It was such a hard day for him. <laughs> he knew what was coming and he was struggling through it. And and then when he found them asleep like after two or three times, like, "What? Couldn't you stay awake with me for 1 hour?" And it, it was like, "Watch and pray for the the spirit is willing but the body is weak." And that's and that struck me. And that's something I think I'm going to be thinking of throughout the day. Is it's easy in our in our in our spirits in our inner person to be like this is the good kind of person I'm going to be. We want to in our core. We want to be the person that is full of love, full of strength, full of wisdom and peace. But our flesh is just weak. It's just it which rather go with short-term fun and pleasure and 
it would rather just hide from anything that is beneficial because it beneficial can feel like work. But that's why I'm glad that I'm making videos because this, this during this vacation because it's giving me a chance to be real, capture memories, feel less alone. <clears throat> There's some things that I'm struggling with that I can't really talk about in these videos because it's not my story to tell. It's it's personal to other people. But God knows, so if you're a praying friend, please pray. I'm not going to even say what it is, but it has to do with health. So please pray for health in my family. If you if you even believe in God that God can do miracles, please pray for miracles for health. Because that would be awesome. <laughs> I don't even know what we're laughing at. <laughs> Who got that coffee? <laughs> Mommy coffee. So what do you guys want to eat? Banana. No, you already had banana. What else do you want? Okay. Note to self. Check the stairs for children's toys before carrying food down. There's a rag. Uh. Children's book <laughs> is The X Files Earth Children Are Weird. And yeah, it's it's Mulder and Scully as kids. Um, camping out in the in the backyard and hearing all sorts of weird alien noises and investigating and it, it has a lot of intriguing twists and turns which I will not spoil but um, I love how they have very very well translated the characters into childhood in a way that is highly entertaining. Who wrote the book and who is it for? It is well it is of course based on the characters created by Chris Carter um, doesn't actually say who properly wrote the book. It was illustrated by Kim Smith Okay, and which age group? Yeah, okay, 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 so... Uh, and which age group is it appropriate for? Um, I would say a bit, you know, a bit older kids, but I think probably, but, well, I think probably anyone from like 7 or 8 could, could enjoy it. And yes. it would probably keep, still be entertaining up to, like, the tweens. Because it's a fast little read, but the, the artwork is beautiful. It is. It's uh, okay. It's good. Thank you. This has <laughs> been Morton Reviews, a children's book. <laughs> do, 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 do. This great space. It's so cool to see how much great stuff is happening at this library. I spent so much time here. And this. Ah, ah, ah. I think it's really starting to get to me that there's so many things going on that I literally can do nothing about and that this there's this big looming thing waiting for us when we go back home in Sweden is not having a place to live yet and it's like I spent so much time cleaning this room and it gave me something to do and now that there's not really much more I can do here because it's my parents stuff that has to be left to be dealt with and I cannot force that to happen <sighs> I'm just feeling kind of useless and kind of pointless Usually I feel that a lot sooner, but because I've been doing daily vlogs, that's given me something to do. So many people just can't comprehend that needing a job, and they work such physical jobs and things that they would like wish that they could do nothing. 
and they don't understand how doing nothing is feels like a form of torture for me. And and I really, really want to connect with people in real life too, and just feel like I do have friends that I could just talk to in real life. And I just feel like I, ha I don't have that very often. I have like short term friends, but... I know. I know I have friends and I don't want to sound like I'm whining. I just... Purposefulness, loneliness, displacement, just feeling... Like, I just don't know what I'm doing here. I just feel so small sometimes. But, thankfully we're going to go out of the house and see other people again. We're going to go back to the library that we were at earlier this morning because it's a great place for kids to run around and books and not being around all this stuff that they're not supposed to get into here. It's gonna be good. She just she just put the backpack on herself. <laughs> she just started leading her around. Oh kid. nice and cool and there's so much to do and it just feels so open and airy and nice. <sighs> Libraries in Utah are amazing. Good job, Morton. You were supposed to be admiring the stuff. Oh, the sorry. be time to put the kids to sleep and I don't know if you can hear the sound of him tickling and playing with them. I just had a pretty intense workout which I will share. <laughs> Wow, you guys are terrible at this. <laughs> you were doing so much better earlier. Okay, let's try again. They were holding on for a long time. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs>
stomach feel the burn um, but yeah I was thinking about how sometimes it's just easier to take in all the things that make you that you're afraid about for people and that you worry and have anxiety about and to kind of just only voice only vocalize where you're hurting and what your problems are so I felt like when I was talking earlier I felt like I was making it all like me 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 but yeah there's there's people that I really really care about and I really love and I just pray that their situation gets better and I wrote a poem and I'm gonna share that now do you ever feel like the darkness creeps up and tries to take beauty and turn into a formless blur all that lies can do is obscure blink focus see what is there identify the people and the thoughts and the truth and the lies so they have to be seen for what they are there is a liar in all of our hearts that voice says everything is your fault you are not loved the darkness is going to swallow you up stand on solid ground and ask the spirit of truth to pierce your soul with eternal light open up your heart and it will shine blinking slowly your eyes will adjust focus on truth and you'll learn to trust see your worth see how loved you are you aren't a useless pebble you are a diamond shining star <laughs> Thank you for watching this very random, vulnerable vlog and just sharing this time with me. It really means a lot. If you watched it all the way to the end, then you can comment Wonder Woman! Wonder Woman! And let me know if you remember watching the show as a kid. Or if you have if you knew that there was a TV show back in the day. So, I just want to tell you, hugs, nostrils of death, and unibrow of awesome. <laughs> How's that, Audra? <laughs> Bye. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that was the perfect ending to that. <laughs>